A hundred years of distilling right here, a, hundred, a whole century. And it's all located right here on what's left of this uh, property here. Hey everybody, this is Russ from Family Tree Nuts and I'm in Stamping Ground in Scott County, Kentucky. And with a special guest, do you wanna tell them who you are? Good afternoon, everybody. Keith Murphy, Mayor of Stamping Ground. And we're gonna show you a couple of hot spots around Stamping Ground that's of great historical interest. And uh, what we're gonna show you here is some of what's remaining of the old uh, Buffalo Springs Distillery. The structure right behind us here is uh, the remaining, what used to be the office, and it's since been restored and turned into a fantastic B&B on by Rob and Kayla Jones here in Stamping Ground. And right across the street from me here, a matter immediately behind me, is not only the oldest house in Stamping Ground, but is also a B&B in its own right. And that is the Alexander Bradford House. Awesome. I think you said that there has been a distillery in the area right here for about 150 years. And uh, this one was found, it's called Buffalo Springs Distillery. Buffalo Springs Distillery. And it, when was it founded? Uh, it was originally started around 1868. Uh, they had purchased, there were two more mills at the time in town. They purchased the old facility, its conversion, uh, also used the warehouses. And it's been serviced by the Buffalo Springs ever since. Wow, yeah, the Buffalo Springs, where the, uh, the, where the town got its name, where the, the buffalo came and name. stamped it down, made stamping ground. It was a large facility. It had, uh, what, several warehouses, several warehouses. And, and big glass windows for lining natural light, three floors. We do. We got lots of pictures of the old distillery uh, located in City Hall, just up the street from us here. And you get really, really get a fantastic picture of just how big this distillery was. And you, the warehouses and stuff, we have lots of uh, pictures, especially a couple of overhead pictures that show the size and extent of the warehouses that went in way in behind us here, those foundations still exist. And I know that uh, like many other small distilleries in small towns around the area, they say it was open, you know, really late fall to early spring was the hot point, so it was open, hired a lot of the farmers that worked around here. So it was very important to the economy of the town for a hundred years. And what, what were the name of the brands the distillery kicked out here? The two that come to mind are Boots and Saddle and Buffalo Springs. Pretty cool. And we still have a couple of those bottles on display in City Hall, along with several other artifacts from town. And there are still actually some bottles that are held by collectors that uh, have not been opened. Wow, that's amazing, that's amazing. And that, cause that was discontinued, I think in the 1950s. For, the, for those particular brands. So who, who was the master distiller here for a while? Otis Beam. Otis Beam of the famous uh, Bourbon Beam family. And I think you said that uh, during the prohibition, did the, what, what was the status of the distillery here? The distillery was enabled to uh, not to remain open under a federal bond during prohibition as one of only six distilleries in the nation. And they were able to produce alcohol for medicinal purposes. Wow, medicinal purposes. Medicinal purposes. How, how do you get that prescription? <laughs> I don't know. So, and I read where uh, during the, the, the Korean War they did, they, they, they basically manufactured too much. They had too much of a stockpile and they were worried there might be another uh, prohibition and that kind of led to its downfall, didn't it? I think so. Yeah, and when did, the, when did the distillery close? It finally shuttered operations by 1968. It was completely closed. So the uh, distillery uh, actually, after it shut down, it remained there for several years, I think, right? Until the distillery building in and of itself remained intact until the 1974 tornado which destroyed so much of this town the actual ruins of the building were finally uh, utterly demolished uh, some several years after that and uh, the property was sold there's now a uh, dollar general is actually on the front part of the property but the real prize is that the rear five acres has been purchased by the city we were able to uh, get that property a year ago and it's we're going to be converting that into a park and it's going to be uh, part of our park system here in town. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I think the buildings were there until about 2007 that they tore them down. But uh, and now that building, like you said, was now an Airbnb that we see back there, the office building. That's the last remaining section. And there's a, a pup house down the road that uh, still exists is the only things there from a century, a century of local distilling. Hey, here we are at the uh, site of uh, a Buffalo Springs Distillery in Stamping Ground, Kentucky. And hey, remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.